The Arizona Department of Transportation is cracking down on identity theft with facial recognition software. I went down to the motor vehicle department to find out how it works. Arizona Department of Transportation began using a facial recognition technology in 2015 to protect Arizonans from identity theft. It's a process that begins when a person goes to register or renew a driver's license. Once you get your photo taken, that photo is then run through the database and it's matched up against all the other photos in the database, which there's like 18 or 19 million and it will try to find similar matches. That was a similar year. If the system finds a similar match, the MVD will put a temporary hold on the ID before it prints a permanent license, and an investigation will begin. There have been over 100 identity theft cases brought to court by ADOT using this facial recognition technology, the most recent being an 89-year-old using his deceased brother's identity to cash Social Security checks. He had an ID in his name and an ID in his brother's name, and so it came up that you know, these photos look very similar, so we did our review, we looked them over, our uh, detectives have FBI training in facial rec, and they determined, yeah, that's the same guy. And since this is a fairly new technology, ASU professor Charles Loftus says there are some improvements that can be made to make this more effective. It's a new system. Uh, there's, there's, I foresee agreements between states to be able to use different states' uh, uh, databases. ADOT hopes this technology will prevent people from becoming victims of identity theft. We want to deter those identity thieves. Don't try it because our system is going to catch you. <laughs> Although Harding says that they do their best to inform residents of the facial recognition technology, Professor Loftus has concerns about the privacy of these photos and says there could be legal issues concerning how long the photos are kept.